Let's suppose we've got utility given by the square root of h plus r. Does this consumer believe more is better? Well, what we're really asking is utility increasing in both h and r. Well, one thing we could do is just look at the utility function and say, well, as h increases, yep, utility looks like it's going to go up. And as r increases, yep, utility is going to go up. The other thing we could do is check to see if there are positive marginal utilities. And if you can't just look at your utility function, this is the way you're going to go. So here's my utility function, and I'm rewriting it so I don't have that radical sign. So it's going to be h to the 0.5 plus r. Well, the marginal utility of h is going to be the partial derivative of utility with respect to h, and the marginal utility of r is the partial derivative of, derivative of utility with respect to r. So doing this with respect to h, the exponent on the h comes down in front, and we reduce the exponent by 1, giving us 0.5h to the negative 0.5. If you don't like that negative exponent, you could always put the h in the denominator and make the exponent positive. Looking at this, we can see, well, yeah, any positive value of h that I'd plug in, marginal utility is also going to be positive. Taking the derivative of utility with respect to r, we get 1. 1 is always positive for any positive values of r. It's actually positive for any values of r. So for both of these, we have shown more is better. Either we could look at the utility function and see that it increases in both variables, or we could check that the marginal utilities of each variable is positive. The next question we ask is the marginal utility of h diminishing and is the margin utility of r diminishing? What we're asking here then is, as h increases, what happens to marginal utility? Here's my marginal utility function. And I like to do this with arrows. So I'm increasing h, so my denominator is getting larger, which means my whole expression is getting smaller. So yes, we do have diminishing marginal utility in good h. A more formal way of checking would be to take the derivative of the marginal utility of h with respect to h and see that it's negative. Well, the derivative, we've got that negative exponent on the h, so that negative 0.5 comes down in front, multiplied by the 0.5 that was already there, h to the negative 1.5. Looking at this, you could put that h to the negative 1.5 in the denominator if you like, but that negative sign out in front tells us that, yeah, the first derivative of marginal utility is negative. So we do have diminishing marginal utility in good h. Let's do the same thing for good r. We know that its marginal utility is 1. So as r increases, we see that the marginal utility with respect to r is actually constant. So it is not diminishing. If you took the first derivative, you'd get 0, reminding you, oh yes, it's a constant. 